I have a question here. I might, I might phrase it a little differently. It says, can creatively, can, excuse me, can creativity be taught or is it a gift? I would add to that, can it be nurtured, encouraged, or how, what do you, okay, just answer it as broadly as you want. Yeah. Somebody, somebody, what well, do you do to help a person with their creativity? Right. From my own personal investigation and my own personal experience, I don't think creativity is an ability. It's not an ability that you either have or you don't have. It is a, it is, it's a way of operating. There's a guy named McKinnon, uh, Donald McKinnon, in the 1970s did a lot of research on, on creativity and what creativity was, and he, he uh, came to the uh, conclusion that, um, one of the conclusions, that um, creative people got themselves into a certain mode when they created that allowed their, their creativity to function. People can make their creativity function in a certain way if they engage in, in basically two modes, an open mode and a closed mode. Uh, the open mode, uh, and they, they both have a value. The open mode is how we are at play. When we're playing, we are, um, we are not focused on time. We are not stressing out about anything. We're not worrying about the future. We're not worrying about the past. We are just in the moment. We are playful. We are curious. We're experimenting. In the closed mode, uh, we are how we are when we're at work. We are focused, working diligently, hopefully. Um, there is an element of stress, perhaps. You are focused on time. They both have a value. In that open mode where you're playing, you open yourself up to ideas being generated. In that closed mode, then, you take what you generated and refine it and develop it. In that mode where you are diligently focused on this idea, have you ever stopped to think about where an idea comes from? Where do ideas come from? I think, I don't know for sure, but I think they come from the subconscious. Ideas, a lot of people say ideas come from anywhere. I had a really bad relationship and uh, we broke up and uh, well, I got a great idea from it and I wrote, I took my pain and tragedy and I turned it into a comedy for the sake of art. I, th I don't think that's the idea. I think that's the inspiration for the idea. But there is a generator inside that creates the idea. And the generator, I think, is in the subconscious. Now the question becomes, what is in your subconscious? And who put it there? This is a very scary thought. Because when you think about it, and this is going back to the environment, conquering the environment. You're four years old. You're in a cardboard box and you're going to the moon. And somebody walks in and says, what are you doing? And you say, I'm going to the moon. And they say, no, you're not going. To. You can't go to the moon in a cardboard box. Let me tell you why you can't do this. First of all, it's a cardboard box. It's made of cardboard. There's no uh, boosters. There's no onboard computer system. There's no canopy. You can't do it. They're filling the subconscious with values. And in this case, negative values that speak to inflexibility, cynicism, limited thinking, and I think ultimately all of that influences how we solve problems, which as we all know is what storytelling is. What is the story I'm telling? Who is this character? Why is this character doing what he's doing? How is he going to get to the treasure in the cave and beat the pirates? All these problem solving, and if you are growing up in an environment, or if you live now in an environment that is filled with negativity and cynicism and inflexibility, you are going to sit down to write your screenplay and say, no, I can't do that because. Just like you couldn't go to the moon in a cardboard box because this, 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 and this. Whereas if you had um, a value system instilled in your subconscious that was more positive, looking at life with curiosity, experimentation, childlike exploration, and not childish, that's something completely different, childlike exploration, all of a sudden... You can go to the moon in a cardboard box.